this season? Um, yeah, I mean, it's obviously I've gone through a lot of fall camps and stuff, so I don't want to speak a lot about the past, but it's just kind of a, a new start almost. Um, so I think there's a there's a really good energy around the team right now and uh, just kind of that building that brotherhood since January. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're excited to, to get going, get rolling on the season. Your head coach has mentioned a few times that this was a hard camp, um, difficult camp. What, what does that mean to you? Um, yeah, I mean, that uh, every camp is going to be hard. Like, that's, that's kind of the, the point of the camp is to just – uh, kind of iron sharpening iron just kind of throughout the three weeks. Um, so, yeah, it, I mean, it was a hard camp, but everybody in the country went through a hard camp. It's kind of uh, what you do in those details, how you attack that, the hard practices, the, you know, the meetings when you're tired and stuff. It's kind of how you attack those. So I thought our, uh, our team did a really good job of kind of attacking those, those little details when, it's, when you're tired, when you're sore, uh, when you don't want to do it. I thought we did a good job of pushing through and um, – you know, attacking every rep and everything we did. Luca, Deshaun Stevenson, um, has been getting uh, kind of talked about a lot. He didn't play a lot last year, but it seems like he might this year. What have you seen from him? Yeah, Deshaun's gonna gonna be a really good ball player for us this year. He had a really good camp, um, and kind of that whole secondary. Uh, they had a really good uh, camp this this past year, so I think they're I think they're gonna have a, a big year. So I'm excited to uh, play with them this year. Um, I mean, he's just super long and super rangy, so he just covers a lot of ground, and he's not afraid to hit. So, I mean, that's the, all the makings of a great safety. So, <clears throat> how well do you feel like you know Minnesota? Because this will be, you know, really your, your fifth mm-hmm. time at Nebraska playing against DJ Flex teams. Yeah, I mean, they they know what they do. They do it at an extremely high level. Um, so it's a, it's going to be a you know it's a big challenge for us. But we're we're up for it. We're excited for it. We're not making any excuses. Like it's. It's 831. It's not Minnesota. It's uh, it's just a nameless, faceless opponent opponent that we have to prepare for. Um, but yeah, they've they've had really good success in the Big Ten the last five years. Like they're they're a great program. They do what they do and they do it at a high level. So just uh, you know, prepare like uh, like it's your last game ever. So yeah. This is the fourth year in a row you've opened with a conference game. Yeah. How does that change maybe your your approach and mentality? I mean, this you know you guys picked to win the last couple and didn't really go well. I mean, how Mm-hmm. Yeah, starting out one and zero is. I mean, that's that's the goal. You go one and zero every single week. Um, so especially opening with a conference game, um, I mean, that's huge for you know standings at the end of the year um, and the, all that all that sort of thing. So yeah, it's just it's super important. But like I said, there's no really difference between Minnesota or Louisiana Tech. Like it's it's the same preparation. It's the same like respect for those opponents, uh, no matter who we're playing against. Yeah, Cam's Cam's kind of a fake freshman. He's like has the tendencies of a senior and a you know old guy. Um, so yeah, he's going to be a really good player. Um, but yeah, it's, he's does he does everything right. Um, I mean, great teammate, great you know, great just everything. He, he's gonna he's gonna be a really good player. I mean, obviously it's gonna there's gonna be some learning curves and stuff that happens to everybody. But yeah, he's he's doing really really well right now. Um, they've kind of emphasized the, that game day is just a celebration of the uh, work that we've put in in practice. So nothing should change. Uh, for game day, it should just be uh, you know, a product of what we've done in practice. So I think they're kind of trying to shift that mindset a little bit, and that's what they're uh, preaching to us. So I, I think it's a great message that it, nothing should change in, get, at uh, game day. It's just a celebration of what you've done in the past week or the past, you know, for this case, six months. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's it's vital. Like it's, um, you know, like I said, I don't want to talk into the past and stuff, but uh, they're a good team. They're they're a good challenge. But yeah, obviously the goal is to to win to finish the week one and zero.
Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a warrior. Like, he got a single digit for a reason. Like, after missing the entire winter conditioning, like, the respect that he still gets from his teammates, um, kind of being separated, you know, working on working on his knee, all that rehab, and, like, still getting that, like, attention and that respect from his teammates, you know, it, it sets it all for him. So he's, he's battled back. He's a warrior. Um, so I'm excited to play with him for one last year. Yeah, I think it's an awesome tradition just to kind of uh, re- respect like what they're what they're trying to establish here with this new staff. So I, I think it's great, and it um, it means something. Like it it's it's not just like oh yeah, I'm just I wear four now. Like it means like my teammates respect me and like that like I rese- represent this team now, um, and along with the other guys that have the single digits. So it, it means the world to me, and um, just having that respect from them. Yeah, I mean it's grown a lot. Like obviously, you you get a new staff. It's it's new. Everything's new. You're, I'm especially for their old guys. It's like gosh, this all this change. Like we don't know what to do with it. Um, so yeah, it it was a process. It's a process. Um, but I th- I think they've done a great job of kind of acclimating those old guys. Like hey, this is what we're doing now. Like I know you did it this way, but this is what we're doing now. And like get on board or get out um, type of deal. So I think the old guys have done a really good job with with that mentality of like. Hey, like we did it in the past this way. Let's let's ride this way. Like we got we got to, or else we can't play here. Essentially. Luca, Matt had mentioned meeting with you and Nick shortly after you know, took the job, and you know everybody's weighing their options, especially some of the older guys. He said, "What has come up was you know the idea that he's a program builder, but sometimes it takes a year or two along the mm-hmm. way." Yeah. What was that conversation like with him and kind of what was your takeaway out of that meeting? Yeah, I mean, you look back at his kind of history where at Temple it took him about three years, at Baylor it took him about three years to to really get this thing rolling. Um, And, like, you see that and you're like, hey, like, why can't we do this now? Like, we were were competitive. Like, we were competitive last year, the year before. Like, there's talent um, in the building. Let's be competitive now. So just having that mindset that he was – he wasn't just, like, planning for year three he was planning for year one uh was kind of the older guys is like kind of questions or thoughts like hey like I want to win now like I don't want to wait for your year three because this is my last year um so yeah we've just like and he's kind of preached that uh with us as well like hey this is this is year four this is year five like let's go now like we don't we don't need to wait like let's go, let's attack this now so yeah that was kind of the the gist of that that combo with him Yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, the, that was like, he he always talks about it. It's like, hey, I'm I'm being year four rule right now. Like, this is this is who year four rule is. Like, I'm not you know nice guy. Like, hey, that's okay. Like, we'll get him next time. Like, it's there's a uh, there's pressure. There's pressure to win right now. So um, I really appreciate that. And all the old guys, like, we want to win now. We don't want to wait for year three when we know it's going to work. Um, so yeah. I mean, he's just a, he's a good quarterback. If I remember right, he came in the second half, right? Because um, Morgan went down. So yeah, he's. I mean, he led him back from I think 10-0 uh, was the score at halftime. So yeah, I mean, he's a great great leader. And like I said, they they run a they they run a pretty simple scheme, but it's done at a very very high level. Um, so they they do it well. So yeah, he's. I mean, he's a he fits into their system. He's not making mistakes. They're not they're not a you know throwing the ball all, all over the place like they know what they do they run inside zone they run um, stretches like they they're just a hard-nosed physical team and he fits that uh, scheme extremely well